Uh, my name's Sam from the Rosemary Murray Library. Today we are going to be trying out a bit of blind contour drawing, which is um, not at all about your artistic ability or the outcome at the end. It's all about the process, relaxing into it. It's a little bit of a mindfulness exercise because your brain is totally on the object, not on the final piece. Um, this will all make a bit more sense in a minute when we start to do it. So all you need for this is a piece of paper and a pencil. So you can essentially do this almost anywhere. And it takes about two minutes, so it's really quick, but you can obviously spend as much or as little time on it as you like. So what I'm gonna do is find an object. Today I'm going to draw this daffodil here because they're looking so amazing in our gardens but you can draw anything that you like. There are a couple of rules. One rule is your pencil never leaves the page. The other rule is you do not look at your page. You just look at the object that you're drawing. You're allowed to look at the first point where you place your pencil on the page and then just look at your object and let your hand follow your eye. Again, this is not about the outcome. The outcome may look ridiculous, funny, it's more about the process and having fun and relaxing. So let's go. I'm going to take two minutes on this drawing and um, we'll see how it goes. really tempting to look at the page but try to resist because um, it will be more of a surprise at the end. Sometimes people have started doing this thing, oh I hate drawing, I can never draw anything and they've been surprised by um, the end result although I shouldn't say that because actually this is not about the end result but you might find it surprising or beautiful in parts or I don't know funny and try and relax while you're doing it don't hold your breath or tense your body by trying too hard just Allow your eye to tell your hand which way to go. And if you've decided, for example, oh, I'm going to draw this flower, and then you feel, mm, I'd like to draw a little bit of what's around it, everything is fine. You can do that. You can go on and draw a bit of the sofa, the stems completely fill the page or decide to do a tiny drawing, very intricate. So that was my two minutes. Um, I hope that's inspired you to give it a go. Send us a photo if you do try it. So this is my finished piece. If you were to see that, um, you might not think much of it. You might not see a daffodil in it, but that's um, two minutes of joy and relaxation here. And um, lots of different line making. It's really interesting because everyone's own line comes out very differently. These are some previous um, drawings that students have done in the past when they've tried this out with us. This is a really nice book. Um, 
drawing on the right side of the brain. If anyone is interested in learning a little bit more about um, the brain and creativity and other exercises you can try out. So I hope you've enjoyed that and give it a go. Let us know how you do. Okay, have a lovely day. Bye bye.